Hi everybody, John here. Tonight, I just got this finished a little while ago and I thought that I would document it right now. This is a zero force motor and uh, it's got a timing, timing wheel here. And the timing is 90 degrees off, so the motor, the motor is running in a neutral zero field. And so, an explanation of that is normally the poles on the motor are facing this direction, and on the other side the the opposite direction, and you go across the top of the coils. But this motor doesn't work like that. This motor is completely different in that it's riding the flux, flux lines that go around the outside of the coil like this. And so, let me show you a drawing. And I don't want you to confuse this type of motor with this type of motor. This is just a plain old pushing motor or a puller. It's not a push-pull motor. This is a push-pull motor because it's pulling on one side and pushing on the other side. And you can see where the reed's mounted. I'm just using one half of the motor to show you the demonstration. Um, you normally would use a bipolar switch, so let's look at the wave and you can see what the difference is here. Let's expand this out a little bit. And bring this up. And in this signal, you see no AC generation at all. This is incapable of generating any power back. So, what does that tell us? That it doesn't have a counter EMF while it's rotating. Which means it's just free in that magnetic field. Now there's four poles on this magnet. I did this the simple way to prove to you that it could be done with just all north poles. But normally, you'd have two south poles and two north poles. And you'd have one more reed on this side over here. Right over here. And it would be firing at every 90 degrees across the uh, blotch wall in the magnetic field. So this being... Uh, a south pole at the top and a north pole at the bottom and this being a north pole and a south pole so you can arrange it so that it pulls in to ride the field or pushes out to ride the field so I don't want again to confuse you with this motor or this motor one is pushing here and one is pulling but there is no push-pull arrangement in this motor. And you can see, you can tell if you just do the experiments, that uh, if you try to push-pull this motor, these coils would have to be arranged uh, much different. These coils are arranged vertical, and there is no horizontal coil, so you're riding you're riding the flux lines that the magnetic field generates. And let me show you uh, what it actually looks like when you draw it out magnetically. Some disagree with me, but I don't care. I happen to know what it does, and I know what the magnetic fields are. So here's what it looks like. And it looks exactly like this. These being your magnets here and here 
and here, and here. Now I've arranged this so it's all north poles as you can see from the drawing. This shows you the timing. And normally there'd be a reed here and a reed over here. This magnet would would stay there because when the wheel moves 90 degrees you want it to fire again in the uh, vertical mode. So you're uh, Depending on how you wind this coil is where the neutral part of this coil, where these actually make a figure eight loop. So they come out of one side and go in the center and come back out this side and come back down here. And you're riding these spins. So when you, when you fire this motor, you're firing it at the neutral point and it's pulling it's pulling with a south pole down to this one and repelling with a north pole actually it's pulling all the time if you think about it is it's it's starting out at the neutral point and moving up to the top of the pole in both conditions but it's free from any counter EMF because it can't generate anything it can only pulse the coil and the circuit's very simple with a reed switch it's just a 1k resistor and a transistor that triggers it on and it's got some horrendous spikes as you can see over here so let's move this GoPro down and let's see what we can get here. Uh, get a better look at this wave. Sorry about the glare in the screen. It's the lighting in the shop. So you can see that um, where it switches on. And since there's no nothing to counteract the uh, the radiant you're at 10 volts per division here so if I move this down get it in line here right where you can see it so we've got about 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 volts. Now, the one thing that I want to warn you about on this type, if you decide that you want to try to build this, this is a very simple build, and anybody can experiment with this. Um, do not put a capacitor across this reed, because if you do, you're gonna you're gonna arc these, you're gonna arc the contacts because of the base current it's going to store the charge in Arkham because I've blown about several of them out getting it to run in it and trying to get the timing just right on this thing it's a 90 degree timing so the timings I've moved this wheel the timing wheel so that when it, the magnet magnetic field gets to the neutral point it turns on and then it pulls it in the opposite directions and I put the fan on just to slow it down and so what I wanted to do was uh, kind of share this build with you guys since everybody's always asked about a zero force motor and how, do you, how did you do it well this is the simplest version, version of it and I what I did was I these things All right, I'm sorry. Um, I accidentally hit the button. But anyway, I'm going to back up a little bit here. I was uh, warning you about this reed. If you notice, the reed is at an angle. And the magnets 
around the wheel are at an angle. They're not straight across from each other. And that's why I made a 14, basically a, a 14 pole rotor. Was so I could do all these experiments. I not only could do this horizontal or vertical, I could make this one horizontal or vertical. And it would be very easy to take the easy spin and wind a plastic coil that goes in here for an arc on both sides and then you'd have a zero force motor and your, your reed would be over at 90 degrees one this way and one this way so let me uh, show you the magnetic fields and you might be able to see what kind of a pattern this actually is in the center here and this is exactly what the fields do is you put the push the north poles together they want to spring out and make a super north and they suck away from the normal poles so the question is is it running on this magnet or is it running on this super north and from uh, from my experience with this motor um, is it, it it does some really strange things and it's very fast and when it's done right it's very powerful it's a very high speed motor the uh, original zero force motor could easily do 10,000 RPMs with a lot of torque and that was done with a bipolar switch and I just didn't feel like doing a bipolar switch here I just wanted to get it to run to show you that you could 3D print it and uh, it's information that people has always asked me about so once again here's your zero force motor and it's not your typical motor because this would be your typical motor and so once again it rides these flux lines from the center point up or the center point down and here's the wave shape again let's see if I can get this I'm at the max on the scope as far as voltage goes so you can see that I'll bring this up so you can actually see what it looks like and expand it out here and get a trace across there and you see no AC wave in here at all or any semblance of it because there is no generation on this motor except if you capture these spikes you can utilize these spikes because they're high voltage and this is running on a lithium battery because I wanted to see how it operated if it affected the lithium at all it doesn't seem to but then I'm not trying to charge it with that spike either so anyway that's a zero force motor and uh, thank you all for just watching and I hope I helped you with this Till next time, bye.